a device that records a sample of audio and then repeats it. In its simplest form, I push a button to begin recording and then I play a part, say harmonica. Then I push another button to stop recording and begin playback from the beginning. I can do this up to eight times, so while the audience watches, I can record a complete song. Looking on my way I've got to find my way back home. My name is Noah Hain, and I'm a harmonica playing, marimba playing, percussion playing, live looper. Find my way back home. Oh. I walk this milky way. I've got to find my way back home. Oh, yeah. So if my soul should find his home, I started playing harmonica when I was 16 because I loved the sound of the instrument. It was just so expressive. And I was hearing it in rock music. I went out and bought one, started playing in a little blues band, uh, and it's kind of baptism by fire from that point. <laughs> perception that the harmonica is a toy is perpetuated by the fact that you can walk through a bookstore and see a book that says learn to play harmonica in 10 minutes. And you would never see that for violin and you would never see that for jazz guitar or piano. You know, learn to play violin in 10 minutes. You know, it's crazy. You can get a melody pretty quickly on harmonica, but after that, you know, I think it's just as hard as any other instrument. <laughs> The marimba was something that I learned through my percussion background. I started playing it in high school, and then I was on scholarship for percussion in college. I just loved the sound of the instrument, resonating, and just the physicality of using four mallets, you know, to strike. It was, I thought it was love. I just loved the sound of it. More than It was a point in my career where I had to decide if I was just going to continue being a sideman or if I wanted to have my own show. And that's what started the concept of having a looping show. I wanted to play harmonica, but I also wanted to sing. So the way to achieve that was through looping. And then there came a point where I wanted to add more instruments and other influences. I didn't want to just be blues. So I thought, why not just throw the marimba in the mix and cajon, kashishi, udu, you know, all these great percussion sounds that I love too. Down, 
it takes insane focus is really, truly compartmentalizing your creativity. I have to have a lot of things on autopilot and at the same time not focus on one thing because I don't forget the other thing. If I'm singing a line and also playing marimba, I'm also thinking about what I have to execute with looping. It's not as fun as other groups I've played with, but it is extremely more satisfying. When I am on stage, I really need to be focused and centered and not be distracted. So I, I don't really get to enjoy the moment too much. I need to be kind of zen. But that being said, when I get done with a song and I've executed it perfectly, and I've also, you know, sung my butt off and I think, you know, got my message out effectively, there's no feeling like that. It's, it's like no other feeling I've felt when playing with a group. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.